Hi guys, welcome to iCode2Learn. In this video, we are going to discuss about Binding SSL Certificates to Azure App Service Custom Domains. Here we will discuss about two types of SSL certificates. One is a free SSL certificate provided by Azure. Another one is purchased outside of Azure. First let us dive into the demo, later we'll discuss about pros and cons and other available options for SSL. These are the two custom domains which we added as part of last video, one is with www subdomain and another one is without subdomain. In this video, let us bind SSL certificates to these domains. Click on TSL settings. Here we have two options, one is HTTPS only and another one is TSL version, we will discuss about these options in a moment. Click on private key certificates and click on App Service Managed Certificate. Here if you observe, this is free a SSL certificate provided by Azure, and it won't support naked domains. Naked domain means, the domains which does not have any subdomain, iCode2Learn.com is a naked domain, whereas www.icode2learn.com is not a naked domain, as it has www subdomain in it. Click on Create to create the App Service Managed SSL Certificate. We can see the status and notification tab. Certificate creation is successful. Click on refresh tab to see the certificate. Now we need to assign the certificate to custom domain. Click on add SSL binding, select the domain, select the certificate, select SSL type. We'll discuss about SSL type in a moment. Click on Add SSL Binding. SSL Binding is completed. To see the result, click on Custom Domain and scroll down. You can observe, www.icode2learn.com is now secure. Let us browse this application, once with HTTP and once with HTTPS. We are able to browse the application with HTTP protocol. Try now with HTTPS. We are able to browse the application with HTTPS protocol. It's time to discuss about HTTPS only option. With HTTPS only option, we can redirect HTTP calls to HTTPS. Let us see the demo once. If you observe, it is redirected to HTTPS. When HTTPS only is enabled, and if you try to access application, with HTTP in Postman or any other API, then we will get an error. With this, configuring the free SSL is completed. Now we will see how to configure the SSL, which is purchased from other providers. SSL for free site is providing 90 days free SSL certificate. I am going to add that certificate to our custom domains. First, let us create SSL certificate from SSL for free site. Navigate to sslforfree.com and click on Login. As I have already logged in, it redirected to Dashboard screen. Click on New Certificate. Enter iCode2Learn.com. You can observe, this certificate is valid for both naked domain and subdomain. Click on Next Step. Select 90-day certificate and click on Next Step. Keep CSR in contact to its default. Select Free Plan and click on Next Step. Now we need to prove, iCode2Learn.com domain is owned by us. There are multiple ways to verify the domain, the fastest way is to add the text file and hosted files. Let us see how to do that now. As part of first step, we need to download the text file from the link, and as part of second step, we need to add well-known and PKI validation folders inside the root folder and add a text file inside the PKI validation folder. We can get the text file name and content from the downloaded files. Navigate to Azure portal and click on Advanced Tools from the App Service. Click on Go. It will open up the Kudu service. Through the Kudu service, we can add, update, delete the hosted files. Click on Debug Console. Click on CMD. Navigate to Root Folder. Add PKI validation folder. Add a text file, 
copy the name from URL. Download the text file and copy the content. Click on Save. With this we added text file into root folder, click on Next Step. As a final step click on Verify Domain. Now we can download the certificates. Click on Download Certificate. Open the downloaded folder and see what all are the files it has. We got two CRT files and one private key file. One important point here is. Azure App Service only supports PFX type certificate, so now we need to generate the PFX certificate from these files. To generate PFX certificate open SSL needs to be installed in the system. I have already downloaded and installed the open SSL in my system, let us try to generate PFX certificate. Open command prompt here. Type open SSL command, I have provided same command in the description. Let me explain the arguments in this command. Give any name to PFX certificate, I gave it as domain name, second argument is private key. Third argument is certificate. Fourth argument is optional and it is bundle certificate. Click on enter, provide password, you can provide any password here, this password is required while adding PFX certificate to custom domain, confirm the password, click on enter, PFX certificate is generated. Let us add this certificate to custom domain. Click on upload certificate, select PFX certificate. Provide the same password that we provided while generating PFX certificate. Click on upload. Certificate uploaded successfully. Now we need to bind the certificate to the custom domain. Click on custom domains. Click on Add Binding for iCode to Learn.com Domain. Select Domain. Select Certificate. Select SSL Type. Click on Add Binding. You can observe, iCode to Learn.com is now secure. That's all from this video. Hope you guys learned how to add and bind SSL certificate. If you have any questions, please do add in comments. We will respond. In the next video, we'll discuss about Prons and cons with app service managed certificates and SSL type and SSL versions. Thanks for watching the video, please do like, share and subscribe for more latest updates.